Self-Study Math Book 10 Foundation of Addition Plus 10 Let's start learning. Self-Study Math is a self-study arithmetic study paper that induces complete learning through four levels of learning. In this course, you will learn the addition 10 in the following ways, such as in order, backwards, and random order. In addition, you will naturally learn from addition 1 to 10 at the same time through the middle calculation of each addition process by calculating reverse order ways. Finally, you will be able to complete learning through the process of creating and solving problems yourself. This textbook is designed to naturally discover rules and principles in the process of solving problems without learning the principles in advance. If you proceed with the method suggested by self-study math, you will naturally discover the rules in the process of solving problems without anyone else helping you. However, you may not find the rules if you proceed the way you did it. In order to maximize the learning effect, we will inform you of the precautions that must be observed as follows, so please remember it before proceeding with the problem solving. First, don't try to solve the first problem right away as soon as you start solving it. Second, proceed with the learning method suggested by self-study math. Third, if you do not finish solving the one-page problem within 30 seconds, do not proceed to the next step. The steps to solve the problem suggested by self-study math are as follows. First, before you start solving problems, you must first look at how the whole problem is structured. Second, look for what rules, patterns, are hiding. Third, once you have found a rule, apply it and start solving the problem. If there are no rules, start solving the problem right away. Fourth, if you have completed the problem solving without wrong answers within the given time, you may proceed to the next step. However, if you have not finished solving the problem within the given time, or if you have completed solving the problem within the given time and there are many incorrect answers, do not proceed to the next step. Try again until you can solve the problem within the given time. Hope you have good results. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page.
Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page.
Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page. Start solving problems now. After 30 seconds, it goes to the next page.
From now on, the problem of self-directed learning begins. Fill in the numbers in the given blank to create a problem and solve it. You can create a problem based on what you learned earlier. For reference, if we collect and organize the problems we are making, you can complete your own problem book that has only one in the world. Isn't it cool? Do not think that you create a problem by simply filling in the numbers in the given blank, but try to make it while thinking about what result will be produced, if you put a number in the given blank. If you use the given problem frame well, you can create creative problems to discover certain rules. Now then we starts. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for 30 seconds and solve it. During the time to solve the problem, pause the video for a while. After solving the problem, please proceed to the next step. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for 30 seconds and solve it. During the time to solve the problem, pause the video for a while. After solving the problem, please proceed to the next step. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for 30 seconds and solve it. During the time to solve the problem, pause the video for a while. After solving the problem, please proceed to the next step. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for 30 seconds and solve it. During the time to solve the problem, pause the video for a while. After solving the problem, please proceed to the next step. So let's start. From now on, the self-directed learning problem begins. Create a problem using the given problem frame for 30 seconds and solve it. During the time to solve the problem, pause the video for a while. After solving the problem, please proceed to the next step. So let's start. All problem solving is over. Thank you very much. Check again to see if this course work has been done properly. If you have solved all the problems within the time given, move on to the next step. If not, you can learn again. If you feel that you are still lacking a lot, start over from the beginning. If you haven't found the rules, take a full look again. For reference, if you find the rules hidden here, learning will be really easy in the future. Finally, share your own self-directed learning problems with other friends. And you will be able to help each other by comparing them with your own problems. Unauthorized premise, reproduction, or printing of this textbook is prohibited. Although it is possible to use it for personal purposes, please use it after obtaining permission from the copyright holder for commercial use for profit.
The copyright of this textbook belongs to the individual who is the representative of Whistle Education. So if you wish to use this textbook for commercial purposes, please make sure to leave your contact information through email in advance and obtain permission from the copyright holder. After receiving the license, you can use it according to the contents and procedures of the permission received from the copyright holder. Thank you. Did you have a great time? When you feel that learning math operations is difficult, immediately find out self-study math. Good and subscriptions are always welcome. Please press it right now. Thank you.